Hi, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Today I'm going to walk through how to install Roadmaster's Direct Connect base plate on your 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. You can see here we have our other components hooked up. Our base plate, when we're not hooked up, you can see it maintains a nice clean look on the front of the vehicle. There's not a whole lot hanging out. Um, it is going to be very easy to use, very durable. It's going to hook to the chassis of the vehicle to give you that solid connection point for your tow bar. It's going to be one of the five main components to flat tow your vehicle. The other four are going to be your safety cables, your tow bar, your wiring, and your braking system. It's going to come with removable arms. Very easy to use. It's going to have a spring-loaded pin that's going to lock it into place along with this end here. It's going to slide back into the back. It's going to twist, lock it into place there, and the pin is going to lock right here in this channel. Very simple. You push it in until that pin collapses, twist it, and it locks into place. You want to make sure that when you're putting it in, that these two are on the inside. It's only going to allow you to put it in that way, because if you put it in this way, obviously it's not going to lock into place. Once you get it in like that, you take your tow bar, you're going to line up the hole, slide it into place, take your pin, slide it through, line up the hole on the pin with the holes on the removable arm. Snap your pin in place and hook up your safety cables. Keep in mind, safety cables when you're hooking up to the RV need to crisscross. So your driver's side is going to hook to the passenger side, passenger side is going to hook to the driver's side. The base plate is going to be a steel construction, black powder coat finish, so it's really going to look nice and match this Jeep very well. Uh, it's going to help maintain a nice clean look for a very long time. It's really going to last having that steel construction. The base plate is going to come with the integrated safety chain loops. It's also going to come with your six pole plug mounting bracket or your wiring mounting bracket. And what this does is it allows you to utilize the same holes that are holding your rock guard on without having to drill new holes. It's going to directly line up with the two bolts or two of the bolts that are holding this in place. Now that we've gone over some of the features of the Roadmaster Direct Connect base plate, let's go ahead and walk you through how to get it installed on your Jeep. To start our installation, I'm going to take a trim panel tool. We're going to push the fastener here, we're going to have one on the other side. We're going to pry up the center, and we'll pop it up like that. Go ahead and pull these out. Then we're going to pull this piece out and set it aside. On the passenger side frame rail, you're going to have some wiring. You need to unclip that. There's a little gray tab right here. You're going to push that and pull out. Like that. Next, we're going to take a half inch socket and we're going to move all the bolts that are holding our pan on, our belly pan. I'm going to start up here. These two right here, um, I'm going to get an extra set of hands because this is metal so that I don't uh, potentially drop it. Place. Now that we've got these loose, um, I thought this was going to be a little bit heavier, so just be careful if you're doing it by yourself. And then we'll set this aside. Next we'll take an 11 16 socket. On each side of our bumper where the, the frame comes out and holds our bumper on, you're going to have two nuts on one side, and then on the other side of the frame rail, you're going to have two. We're going to have four of them on both sides of the vehicle. 11 16 socket, and we're going to remove those. If it makes it easier um, to use a swivel, you can use a swivel on some of them. Then, once you get all eight nuts off, go ahead and pull your bumper off and set it aside. Okay. 
And then take a 16 millimeter socket. The frame stiffener right here, you're gonna have a bolt on one side, bolt on the other. It's gonna be on both sides of the frame where your bumper attached. We're gonna remove these two bolts and remove the frame stiffeners. They will not be replaced or not be reinstalled. Next, we're going to take the same 16 millimeter socket. This bracket on the bottom of our frame rail that holds the rock guard or belly pan on, we're going to remove the two bolts from each side of the vehicle. And then we're going to remove the bracket. This bolt that we took out, right above it, you're going to see a hole in the frame rail. We need to open that hole up to a half inch. But that half inch hole needs to go all the way through to the other side. So. What I'm going to do is start with a small bit and, again, open it all the way up to a half inch, all the way through the frame rail. This one happens to have a hole on the inside also, so instead of taking my drill bit and going straight through, I'm going to do this side and then I'm going to come over and do this side. We're going to need to do this on both frame rails. Now I'm taking a paint marker and covering up that bare metal. It's going to help reduce the risk of rust corrosion later on. I'm going to do that with each one of the holes. We're going to take our bracket, we're going to slide it up into place. Now, right now we're on the passenger side. We're going to line it up with the holes like that. You want to make sure that this, uh, your safety chain tie down here or attachment point is on the inside. We're going to take the factory bolt that we removed and we're just going to hand tighten it into place on each side. Up on top, we're gonna have two pipe spacers. One's gonna go here, and one's gonna go for this hole. Nice there. And we're gonna take Five and a half inch bolt by half inch. You want to make sure you're using red Loctite on all of your hardware. We're going to go from the outside, I'm going to slide it through, and like that. Flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Do the same thing here. Again, five and a half inch bolt. Put a flat washer on. From the outside, it will go through. Flat washer. Lock washer and a nut. Before we tighten anything down, we want to come up here to the front. We want to check the holes where our bumper is going to go in and make sure that our bracket is not interfering. I like to take an extension like this. Maybe you have a larger screwdriver. And if you have to kind of pry it down a little bit to make sure that those are opened up, pry it down. And then what you can do is tighten the two factory bolts with your 16 millimeter. And we'll take our three quarter inch socket and wrench. Go ahead and tighten down our other ones a little. We're gonna have a plate, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna have a smaller hex bolt. You're gonna put on a lock washer and a flat washer and from the outside, we're gonna take this plate, kind of bend the rod a little bit. And we're gonna slide it in and we're gonna line it up with this hole. Put our bolt in and then we'll tighten it into place. Then we're going to torque our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. Then we're going to take our rod and you can either cut it or you can just bend it up inside the frame rail. We're going to take our rock guard mount and we're going to reinstall it.
go ahead and tighten those into place and then we'll repeat the same process on the other side of the vehicle. Now we can reinstall our bumper in reverse order from the way we took it off. Once you have your bumper put back in place, you've got your plastic panel put back in, don't forget to plug in your wiring, then you can start uh, trimming out your belly pan or your um, rock guard. On the new Rubicons, the 2020 Rubicons, this is actually metal. They're not plastic like the older ones used to be. Um, if you can see here how I cut it out, you can do it like this. I want to do a little bit more custom work rather than doing it how the directions say. If you do it by the directions, they're going to tell you to cut out a big square all the way around this whole thing. So this whole thing will be open. Again, I wanted to do a little bit more custom work, so I took a little bit of extra time. The way I did this, was on the underside of the pan. I just made a square or a, a rectangle in a sense, and then took a two and a quarter inch um, hole saw bit. Had the bit touch each one of the lines and drilled a hole. And that's what gave me my circumference on the corners rather than a square. So again, that's gonna be completely up to you how you cut it out. If you're going to cut it out by the directions, just follow the directions on the measurements on how to do that. Once you get it cut out, you can go ahead and put your pan back up in place. You're going to leave these two bolts out. Your kit is going to come with a bracket. Looks like this for your wiring. What's nice about it is it's going to line up exactly with the holes that are already in the rock guard. So we're not going to have to drill any, any holes to get this bracket installed. Keep in mind, when you install your wiring, you are going to have to drill a small hole back here to run your wires back behind this pan to the back of the vehicle. Um, you're also, depending on which braking system you're putting in, you're going to have a breakaway switch you're going to have to run. And if you're doing the Air Force One, which we will be installing later, we're going to have an airline tube. What I'm going to do, rather than drilling three holes for each one of those, I'm going to drill one hole here, mount my breakaway switch on this bolt, mount my air fitting here and run everything over to this one hole so that it all stays nice and clean looking. Once you get uh, all this done, tighten this back into place, you're ready to move on to your wiring or your braking system or whatever else you're gonna be putting on. Once you get that done, you're gonna be ready to go. Again, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Uh, that's gonna do it for a look at an installation on Roadmaster's Direct Connect base plate on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.